Hello crafty friends, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. We've got some fun things here. I have got a decor piece. I believe I got it at Goodwill and I'm just showing you these cute little um, napkins that I got from Etsy and I will list where I got those. They're so adorable. It's just fun to see. The napkin art is kind of taken off lately. They've got napkin clubs and all kinds of fun things. Um, so I'm just putting some hazelnut uh, Waverly chalk paint on this cute little tin. Allow that to dry. And it looks like I did a little dry brushing with the antique wax. Now when I did this napkin, I did not deply it. It had two plies. I didn't take them apart. Normally I do do that. Um, but I didn't want, you know, it's got that white background and I didn't want to kind of have that blend in. And so I ended up putting like a lot of, of Mod Podge on it and it kind of made it um, oh, mushy. It ended up turning out fine, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I just, I'm not sure, you know, what the best technique is depending on what you want to do. Probably in hindsight, just to I should have painted the background white and then just did one ply because you can see I'm just trying to massage out those little wrinkles that ended up in there. And uh, when I got done with this, it kind of looked like leather, which is kind of cute for a cow, you know, ironically. And so I really like how it turned out. Um, but sometimes Mod Podge is a tricky thing to work with. I wasn't done. I wanted to get some more pretty things on there. And on the bottom this, of this napkin, there's some little flowers and there's greenery in there. And so I'm just pulling out the green by using, you know, the, the green and white checked. And then these little pip berries, you find those here and there. I just pick them up if I see them. Just, you know, using that to make little round or, you know, little squiggles, if you want to call it. I love how my little cow turned out. I hope you like it too. It's just um, very leathery looking. Uh, but it is fun to see that decoupage and the napkin world, you know, is having a little boost of sales because that's kind of coming back. Let's move on to the next DIY. DIY number two. Okay, I got this pretty cute little teapot for $4 at my local uh, Karen Share, they call it. And um, I, I remember when this was in, this was probably maybe early 90s. These were super popular. And so we must redo it. And so in order for the paint to stick a little better, I did sand it. I did go over it with the isopropyl alcohol just to kind of pull away any grime or uh, dust and um, oil. And then I probably went over this, you know, three times with the chalk paint. Um, and then I knew I was going to need to seal it, but I did that later. Anyway, I'm doing like they uh, call it like a wet sanding and I'm just taking a little sponge. I wet it and I'm just lightly going over it and that kind of takes off the burrs and you know little pieces and kind of smooths it out. It does work pretty well. I believe I got this at Michael's and this is such a pretty, it's just um, you know the rub-ons and I just cut out pieces here and there and I just rubbed it on. And I gotta be honest, the first thing I tried with this little pot was I tried to do a stencil. And it was one of those where it's um, a screen, like a silk screen stencil. It didn't work. So I ended up painting over it and I thought I'm not gonna do that. And so I dug around and I found these cute little, you know, very pretty uh, rub-ons and decided to go with this. So just take your time and, you know, lift it up if it's not quite down put it back down it's pretty easy to work with even on a surface like this that isn't flat and then i did pick up some of this varnish that's specifically used for chalk paint 
and I put two coats of that on there and hopefully that'll keep you know everything down and not chipped you know and if you rub your hand on it or something because I could see that it was chipping quite easily with my finger you know if I you know when I was drying it even it pulled off some paint so hopefully that'll work nicely does anybody have any experience with that Waverly varnish let me know what you think of it and there's the back side of this pretty little piece Let's go on to the third DIY. This was my favorite. Okay, so I got on Etsy and the big thing now is they've got laser things that cut out of wood. So this is from a company called Sawdust Makery and this is so cute. So they recommend that you clean it off with their alcohol wipes. They provided that. And then I just took out my um, duck egg, vintage duck egg from uh, Dixie Bell, and I painted a base of that on there. The thing with this Dixie Bell paint, you usually only need one coat, and it dried pretty fast. I did have a fan on me. It's so been so warm lately, and then so um, if you see me adding a little bit, it's just because I'm trying to blend a little bit. And so I'm just putting a little white. I want to make it more three-dimensional and make it more, you know, cute. And so you got to put the little contours in the pumpkin to make it more 3D. Now, locally, I am going to be holding this as a little class. Um, I got a set of 10 of these. And so with the one I've made and the one my daughter wants, I can have eight people. So I will be having this as a local class. And um, I do definitely want you to check out that Sawdust Makery on Etsy. They've got the cutest stuff, you guys. I could spend money. Oh, my goodness. So just adding a little gray. You know, you've got your highlights, your low lights, just like with your hair. And here we go with this cute little pumpkin. And I actually used two different colors of the gray. It was steel and elephant, just kind of adding things to, you know, make it cute. And then I wanted to, you know, add more of the gray with the Hello Pumpkin and the stem. And I used the elephant color um, after I added all these little bits and pieces in there. Use your colors and take one of those colors that you used inside the pumpkin and, um, you know, put that as your, the color you paint your words and it just works out so nice because everything blends so well. The paintbrush worked fine. I did end up going over it a couple of times. Um, another thing that might work well is like a little sponge. You could just dab it on. I did not go in and do the sides of it. I didn't think it was necessary. And then just attach it with some good old white glue. And then I got that P ink uh, ready to go and I thought I better figure out where I'm going to put this so I don't just plop it on there. And so I was going to mention too that in there with uh, the sawdust makery they have it this pumpkin is orange and it's got white dots and that was cute too i have really struggled trying to figure out what i wanted to paint this i thought of white i had papers out i mean and then i just ended up with this one and i'm so glad i chose this one and then just put your embellishments on there, whatever it is you'd like. I did paint my little easel that I got at Walmart. They're only like 98 cents. So I've got one ready for fall, this cute little Hello Pumpkin. I love how it turned out. I hope you like it too. Give that shop, shop a little check. You know, if you like this kind of a thing, they got a lot of tiered tray items. And I don't know, I'm probably going to be making more things from them. Well, thank you, my friends, for coming by. I got another one out. We got more on the way. I appreciate you so much. You take care and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye, my friends.